fit is a big word, right? Because when we say fit, everybody kind of means something a little different. Mm -hmm. So it could be from comfortability with that campus that you're on, or with the coach, or uh, just the surroundings. The fact that you're now, you know, you grew up in the city and you're now <laughs> at, you know, University of Illinois and surrounded by cornfield. So, you know, these are, these are different things we think about with that. Um, so you have to identify for you which one is going to be the most important aspect of that. Now, for us, we want to put all that on the table day one. In fact, the first thing you do when you sit down with us is we'll talk exactly about that. And I ask every family in the first meeting, which is just the family meeting, which is just us totally free to sitting down in a coffee talking about this. What are your thoughts about college? What's on your plate? What are you thinking about right now? Mom, dad, kid. And the truth is, and this is always fun, everybody has a different answer. There's always a different want or get out of this right. college thing, right. as you guys have seen right. too, right? right? So the kid has a thought of like, I want to play the sport, and I've got this maybe this interest. You know, mom or dad wants to make sure that Johnny is comfortable where he's going, and then mom or dad wants a good financial deal because they know that I can't sacrifice retirement to do this, which you shouldn't. Right. So we've got a lot of things to answer on that same front. We've got to make sure that all those pieces are answered, right. and we've got to really be able to sit down and talk through those pieces. But that's the first question we always ask. So when we say fit, mm -hmm. how important is it to you? Let's talk about it on your own personal perspective. Sure. And what does that mean directly for you? Okay. And that means also really vetting the the, the sport. Right. Meaning the teams that you're looking at, the coaches you're talking to, is a coach kind of on the border of like, can you tell if he's got one foot out the door? Right. You know, let's measure that stuff now so that way we're not guessing down the road. And, and also asking the coach, this is a big question too, how am I going to be utilized on this team? You know, when do you see me really playing? What other players are coming in that are taking my spot? That's that's in the news, and, and this is also, and you can totally answer this better. We see that in D1. We're in Columbus. Right. You know, we see Ohio State sure. roster changes every day. Sure. That's a national news topic, mm -hmm. more, more or less a regional news topic. Mm -hmm. That's not happening at Capitol, sure. at Walsh, sure. on their baseball team. You don't know what's happening behind right. the scenes there. You've got to be able to ask those questions. Sure. And see what's going on there. What do you think in that in that sense? No, I agree, I, and I, I think you know, having talked to enough parents that that you know they went to a school and their their child got hurt or a coach left or whatever, and now they've transferred back somewhere else. Mm -hmm. um, I, it just makes me passionate about making sure that we do everything we can. You know, you're never going to know until you step foot on campus and play for that coach or or play for that sport. Uh, you're really not going to know. You know, you just do your best. And so yeah. that's, I think what we want to do is at least give everybody the tools, not just on the field or in between the white lines, but outside the white lines, give them every tool possible. So That's why I think a partnership like ours is really strong Huge. because yeah. you, know, you guys work with the athletes on perfecting that. We want to take them and say, okay, you've got that set, now let's plan for the right. college piece. Right. You now have, in our, when you're working with us, an advocate mm -hmm. in this, somebody to help guide you through it. You can think of it like an agent, you can think of it like a realtor, whatever you choose to be, but you have somebody that helps you guide through all of the stuff right. that go in through college. The sport aspect, the career side, the academics, the financial, we got you covered. So that way we can make sure everything you've done, as again, as a parent, spending all that time and money getting your athlete perfected and making sure that they have every tool in the box ready to go. We want to make sure that you have every tool available to you on the college side, because that's what you're doing all this for in the end anyway. Right. If you ask a parent, you can tell me otherwise. Yeah. You say like, you know, you you send Johnny, you send Sharon to camps and baseball teams and softball teams and lacrosse teams, and traveled and done all of this stuff. Why? Well, so they can get a good education. Then why are we skipping on that part? Right, right. You know, why are we not taking our diligence to do that part to the nth degree that we can? Right. And that's where we step in. Right. I think too, one great part of our partnership has been connecting you with other partners that we have like PNC Bank um, and then Ohio State. So I know we've had some students that have come through and done uh, uh, shadowing, mm -hmm. is that, I'm not sure what we call it, but, but uh, having come through and, and they spent the day with Ohio State with the PTs just kind of going through what they do for a day. Yeah. So that's been a neat part of our, our, uh, our partnership is that that's another part that you all offer as well, correct? Yeah, yeah we do a ton of job shadowing okay. because it's needed. Right. So. We, again, going to the conversation career development, I could spend an hour, yeah. <laughs> if not longer, talking about how you do that really effectively, but it's absolutely done effectively if you know how to do it right. There's a lot of research in, into looking in the fields that really surround our kids' interests, but a lot of it is just texture. You know, you've got you've to see this, you've got to feel this, and you guys have been great here for us to be able to send kids to the OSU PT Center, so that way they can see 
what does a physical therapist really do every day? Right, <laughs> you know, right. how does this really work? It's really like, we've been able to send kids to you. They yeah. say like from the yeah. sports management side, we have a lot of kids that are interested in how do you run athletic based sport based businesses. Yeah. Perfect example. Yeah. Um, and so we do that all over the place. So we send we have great partnerships with other companies around the city where we may have them go s shadow a prosthetic limb developer wow. in the biomedical engineering range or somebody that's running something like a good friend of mine actually who uh, is running DSW's uh, warehouse which you think oh it's shoes well not really this is they have a 1 million square foot facility out by the airport where you have to process 12,000 pairs of shoes a day so how do you sort a warehouse like that in order to do that effectively well, that's that's a logistics and supply chain problem and industrial engineering problem so seeing those things in action and having our kids exposed to that early just makes them more confident more understanding of what the work world really looks like to them and how their interests correlate and whether or not they like it. Right, that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, every teenager is the same in this sense. They've got no exposure to the work world. Right. You know, most of them know doctor, teacher, nurse, my parents do X. <laughs> exactly. That's the yeah. extent of the work world right. they've got, right? Yeah. So, uh, and we're, we're saying like, ah, go figure it out from based off of that. That's crazy. Yeah. There's so much other stuff out there. That's why we've got to do such heavy exposure work to them really early in order to be able to see that and understand what those fields look like. That directly correlate to them and see how those really work so that way they can feel more confident they're not going to college and jumping between majors right. like engineering and nursing and the thing is when our kids go to school when they go through our program they change their majors too but they're not jumping from engineering and nursing they're going from logistics to supply chain they're going right. from environmental engineering to civil yeah. they're making small minded adjustments in the degree set yeah. which is what they want them to do yeah. and on average our kids are graduating in 3.8 years Wow. and so that's that's controlling the time clock, that's controlling the money clock by that too. And they're coming out with degrees that actually are marketable and make sense. Wow. That's awesome. All that you still get to play the sport. And, <laughs> I, and I think that's I know, by the way. By the way. <laughs> and it, again, going back to it, the fears of parents in this process that are so knee deep in the sport is that if we don't get everything out of the sport, we're missing an opportunity. No, the truth is you're missing opportunity if you don't get everything out of the academics. Sure. If you don't get everything out of the career path. Because that's what inevitably that sport is paying for. Sure. And if you just kind of throw that to the wind and say, oh, well, you want to study, you know, psychology, then you've done that. You've just kind of wasted that opportunity on that end. Where well, the truth is, that's the thing that's going to propel you for the next 40 years of your life sure. and then come in a career. Right. The sport will always be a part of you, but that's the thing that's going to be the lasting effect of college. And that's where we've got to make sure we put attention on. And that's really when we look at college readiness for athletes this year, that's the whole reason behind it. Um, you told me once that this is something that Bo's really passionate about. Absolutely, right. Is really yeah. education. Yeah. And we want to stay down that, that path. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be doing a lot of workshops for each team this year. Yep, yep. Uh, for each team that goes to BJE, mm -hmm. uh, just on college and career readiness and all of that. Uh, of course, and, and we've got a lot of other things that are happening behind the scenes for us. We've even got essay writing camps that are going on that are really helping our kids write better essay work for their applications. Um, for our athletes, especially for our fall athletes, when you're in our program, everything needs to be done in the summer because football, cross country, lacrosse even, or whatever the sport they're playing in the fall, that takes time, which means it's taking time away from applications mm -hmm. and all that aspect. But again, you're doing all this to go to college. Please don't ignore it. Yeah. Like, in fact, to that same point, you've got to put more effort into it. So we've got to utilize our summer better for our, particularly our fall athletes. Right. So we're doing application season right and we're getting all that stuff done. Because a coach, inevitably, and again, you can speak more to this than anybody, D2, D3, and AIA, they're going to look at and make sure you did all that stuff right, sure. so that way they can get more scholarship money for you through right. other vehicles that exactly. are through the sport money. Exactly. To us, we don't care. Yeah. It's free money to us. <laughs> get it wherever you want. That's right. That's all that matters to us. Yeah. But that's where it's coming from the sport, is it? Sure. No, I think it's, it's helpful. You want, you want a student to position themselves so that the coach can walk down the hall and say, I need more money. I need this kid. Yeah. Uh, because you know certain sports have certain levels of scholarship that they can do and some have none so uh, if that coach really wants you they need to be able to go and be your advocate on campus yeah. and, and anything any tools you can give them in that discussion certainly helps whether yeah. it's your ACT score or you know your high school grades those kind of things so absolutely that's uh, where for Jasmine it was a huge effect because right. he was a 3.9 to 4.2 kid you know we were sitting on about a 30 ACT she was a bright kid wow. you know? and this was a school that was directly in her wheelhouse that coach was able to take that letter, basically her stuff, down to admission and say, hey, look, 
I need you to focus on getting this kid some admissions money mm -hmm. so that way, yeah, we can give her some money, uh, money out of the soccer pool, but if we can minimize that and give her more money here, we can still go get better athletes and she can get more money out of this deal. And that's exactly what happened. Right. That's what we're trying to look for for this. Yeah, if it comes out of the soccer coach's pocket, that's fine yeah. uh, as far as scholarship money, but truth be told, in the end, again, I don't really care where the free <laughs> money comes from yeah. so long as yeah. it's there for a kid. Yeah. You can pull it out of you know, volleyball's money or, <laughs> or right. psychology's money, sure. whatever you want to do. Right. Well, for our athletes, I would say that um, uh, as we enter this, this season, uh, what we can look for for both uh, BJE, Blast, Black Sox, we will have nights with College Liftoff featured there. Um, some of those nights may also have PNC, maybe. Yeah. Um, yep. And so uh, mm -hmm. we'll have we'll have workshops where you can come in. Uh, your par parents, you can while while your kids are practicing, we'll set them up strategically so that you can come in, go through the workshop with your kids, um, get to know Aaron, get to know his team a little bit better. They can kind of give you the um, the overview of what it is they do and why we're why we're partners and why we're passionate, as you can probably hear about this partnership. Um, and so we'll have those throughout the winter, and uh, and you can look for more information. What's the best way to contact you if you're interested today? Sure, sure. So uh, our website's always a great place for information. It's just www.collegeliftoff.com. Very simple there. Uh, you can always reach us on phone. It's 614-329-6633. Those are easy ones. Uh, if email's a thing for you, just hello at College Liftoff. But also, truthfully, uh, go follow our stuff on social media. Go sure. like us on Facebook. We post a ton of this, you're going to see this interview probably on Facebook, I'm sure, um, and through our website, of course, too. So follow us on Facebook or Twitter or anything like that. The way you can kind of keep up on information. And uh, to drop a couple of cool <laughs> things that we haven't really talked about, and I know okay. we about right. much. This is our 10 year anniversary. So we, All right. uh, this September, this coming September, will be 10 years wow. in business for us. That's great. And with that, we'll actually be opening up our second location. Wow. It's actually going to be in Powell. Okay. So uh, we're, we're shooting for a space in Powell that's going to be right around Sawmill and, and Powell Road. Great. And uh, so that'll be our second spot. We're in Worthington area, uh, Worthington, UA now, but this will be a lot closer actually to here too. Right, So, and you mentioned that. So, because uh, we have athletes from all over, not just Hilliard. And yep. so we have some up north and, and uh, so UA is current, uh, UA Worthington, is that Yeah, that's where our location yeah. is, but truthfully, we're getting kids from all over the city that still come there. I okay. mean, we've, we've got reaches all the way from Granville to Plain City. and. And kids from all over the country, truthfully. So we, we've we've even had an interesting lineup. We had a kid from Belgium this year that we work with. Yeah. So uh, it's, so it's done no differently, truthfully. It's just just uh, you know if we can get you if we're here in town, we have to come in face to face for meetings, but uh, with your advisor. But if not, it's just done over Google Meet, which is like FaceTime. So okay, I'll just give them that. Well, Aaron, we we are so thrilled that uh, we we found the partnership a year ago mm -hmm. and we're extending it again this year yep. uh, I think as we go in with college readiness for athletes it's going to be so good for all of our teams all of our players all the parents um, they're a great resource that's why we're partners that's why we're so passionate about it so look for those nights and uh, thank you for your time oh, congratulations thank you. on 10 years in your new location oh, thank you very much and if you, anybody has any questions please feel free to reach out uh, again just at hello at collegeliftoff.com or just through our website no, it's been great, and I've been really thankful to be a part of uh, the whole team with BJ here. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks man. All right.